a warning to members of the public that now is not the time to be complacent with regards to COVID-19. This as the nation gets a further breakdown of who is being considered high risk, especially in light of the non-communicable diseases or NCDs prevalent among our population. Nephrologist and acting head of medicine at the San Fernando General Hospital, Dr. Neil Bagwandas, told the daily COVID-19 press conference that while older people have been deemed high risk, people of all ages who have certain underlying conditions are equally at risk. He noted that there are many citizens who suffer from hypertension, which can put their life in jeopardy should they contract COVID-19. But he said renal issues in particular seem to be on the rise. And when we speak of complications of COVID-19, we especially did um, talk about respiratory conditions such as severe respiratory distress syndrome, respiratory failure, having to end up on, a, on, a, on, a vent on ventilatory support with the attendant risk of high mortality rate. Other complications of COVID-19 in our high-risk populations being recognized now is an increasing risk of going into acute kidney failure if you develop severe COVID-19 infections and you require dialysis. Dr. Bhagavan Das stressed that young people are not immune. Many young people who do not manifest any of these comorbidities as listed on this slide, young people are being diagnosed with strokes, cardiovascular accidents, because of uh, prothrombotic or increased clotting disorder that occurs when you develop COVID-19 um, infection. So all the reasons why we should aim not to, do, to put ourselves into a high-risk category or, or, or expose ourselves to cause COVID-19. Some of the underlying conditions that put people in the high-risk group include asthma, chronic lung disease, diabetes, and severe obesity. As of this morning, the number of confirmed positive COVID-19 cases remained at 115. A total of 41 patients have been discharged from hospitals.